Hey, how's it going everyone? This is Jose Trujillo once again coming to you from my art studio and today I will be painting with um, my palette knife again. <laughs> I've been doing the palette knife so, so I mean keep going with it, why not? So I'm going to do this painting uh, of, a, of a marshland type of uh, scene and here we go, I hope you like it. This is a little 8 by 8 inches canvas board. Very super fun to paint with because you know you can you can take them anywhere. They're they're uh, perfect for for uh, plain airs. Perfect for the little plein air paintings, those of you uh, plein air enthusiasts. So sometimes I forget myself too that that uh, um, with when you're doing a palette knife painting, you want to use. You want to you want to use uh, more color, okay? If you want to get this effect, sometimes I forget that too because I'm, I I mentioned in the other video. Uh, sometimes I get used to to painting with a brush and then I'll I'll just jump to the palette knife, just because you know that's I'm winging it. <laughs> it feels fine to do it. Sometimes I'm like, oh, I had enough of the. I had enough with painting with a brush today, you know, or for the past week or whatever, I'm gonna jump into the palette knife. And it takes a little bit more uh, time to settle in, into it, you know, for what feels comfortable for the artist, anyways. Other people would be like, oh my god, you're a genius. <laughs> Look at that use of the palette knife. And here I am thinking like, oh my god, this is so lousy. I need to practice more right now. <laughs> but <laughs> that's another thing I want to talk about, and, and, and uh, I mean, I didn't want to talk about it in another in another video. Uh, the what what the artist sometimes perceives as being good or bad, it could be a total uh, misrepresentation or mis yeah misrepresentation of the mind. The mind likes to play tricks on. On uh, you know the people that are doing the things, because from uh, another perspective, from someone else's perspective, you might be doing a great job. You know, you you you're uh, you're doing a, a great painting. They might even be like, "Oh my God, that's a masterpiece!" Right? But from your point of view, from your own. Uh, and I, I believe that that has to do with the level of, of um, peace, I think, you know, whatever that means for, for everyone. The level of peace that, that each artist carries. Sometimes the artist is very peaceful and the artist is like just in the zone all the time. And sometimes the artist is a little bit more, you know, a little more shaky. And not necessarily in the zone. Um, tries to be in the zone, but not necessarily. <laughs> and, and that's fine too. I, I think that those things change in a matter of. Um, sometimes they take you know a, a second or two. Sometimes they take a couple of days. And I think it has to do with the level of you know, like I mentioned the the. The feelings, right? The artist goes through, but uh, they're so overrated because because um, I believe that when you create artwork, you don't want to be governed by that. That's that's something that e even if you're feeling, you know, like oh man, I don't feel the part today. I don't feel like I'm, you know, I don't really feel like I'm doing good. Even if you're feeling that, 
um, spe not not even. That's not what I was gonna say. Especially when you're feeling like that, is when you should be more uh, aggressive with your painting. It is when you're feeling like that. When you're feeling like you're not, you don't feel the part. You know how sometimes uh, artists would be like, "I'm not, I'm not inspired, or I'm a little shaken by you know." Just things in life or whatever. It is in those moments where you feel like that. What most people do is that in those moments, they want to take breaks. And I, I'm not against it. I think sometimes you, you do need a break, you know, a mental break. But more often than not, in my experience, uh, that's usually a bad, um, uh, what is it, a bad uh, thing to do. I mean, not, not bad, but it's, it's, it's the wrong thing to do. I think that when you're going through a little mental you know, thing, if, you're, if you don't feel the part or whatever, the first thing that you need to do is not, uh, not even talk about it. Let me talk about it with yourself. Like then have that mental conversation. Like, oh man, blah, blah, blah. And the second thing is that you should be more aggressive. Uh, because that is happening, then you should be more aggressive with your work. It's, especially if you're a career, uh, a professional. Because it will make you stronger. See, I don't think that Michael Jordan was like, oh man, today I'm just not feeling it. You know, I can't play the game today. Or I can't practice. You don't become... You don't become Michael Jordan because you quit on practice because you were feeling sour about something in life. You become Michael Jordan or whoever. If you're a singer, Bob Dylan, or, you know. You become that... That type of... you, That, you, that mastery because... Because when you were feeling sour, you still showed up. And I think that that's, I'm almost 100% sure. The only reason I'm not 100% sure is because, because I haven't done it all the way completely. I'm, I'm working on it. But I could bet just about anything that that is the difference between the the big boys and the boys. That's what separates the big boys from the big girls and the girls. The people show up and they do what they have to do despite in spite, I mean, in spite, regardless of how they're feeling about it. All right, guys, I hope that my, my sermon today <laughs> was beneficial. Uh, I usually talk about things that, that I myself am going through or I have done or, you know, and this is how I, I get to deliver real stuff, guys, real stuff that the artist, the person, goes through and how we push forward. My name is Jose Trujillo. I'm a fine art painter and thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Till next time. Bye-bye.